welcome back to my channel and welcome if you are new so this is the second part of me cleaning my craft room so i did a video a while ago cleaning my desk and going through all my cards and stuff so this is going through all of my stamps so i have this storage trolley which i got off ebay which i will link in my description for you but i got all these little baskets from poundland so if i can find them on the website i will link them if not i will find an alternative to link for you guys so I have loads of these baskets, um, so on my storage trolley with all my stamps, I have I have five on my storage trolley, and then I have eight, maybe nine, underneath my desk, um, which are like Christmas ones and stuff that I don't reach for every day, but, you know, I just wanted to motivate people to go into the craft room and clean, so I don't know if anybody else is like me, but if my craft room is too messy, and too cluttered it doesn't motivate me to craft or create anything because it'll just put me off and I'll walk away um, so what I tend to do is after every card that I create I try and clean up after myself by putting everything back in its place but sometimes you know you either are in a hurry to get something done and then you you have to go somewhere else and you know you get sidetracked and stuff like that so unfortunately it doesn't always happen but luckily for me that's never actually been the case I always make time um, so I do recommend cleaning after you finish creating, that seems to be the best way for me anyways. I know some people like to clean as they create, which, you know, I can understand people doing that, but I think for me doing that I used to always lose things and get frustrated, so I don't really do that. So what I'm doing is I'm organising all of these from the size, from height wise, so the tallest are at the back and they go down into the smallest. Um, each basket has a category of what it's going to be, so I used to store them as brands, so like every Mama Elephant one would be stored in one basket, Long Fawn, Bumbleberry Craft, Honeybee, that sort of thing, but I noticed I had quite a lot of Long Fawn products, Mama Elephant products, and also Whimsy, and if you guys know Whimsy stamps, most of them were rubber stamps when they first started, and they're quite bulky, so you know, pairing them all together was kind of hard to do, so what I decided to do was to categorise these all in different things. So the way I've categorised them now at the moment, which seems to work for me, is I have one which is people. So any image with a person in goes in one category. I then have sentiments, so if there's majority more sentiments than images, it gets put in another basket. I have critters, so any cute little animals or teddy bears and stuff like that goes in another basket and then I have one which is just for dyes so like all my border dyes and stuff like that and then I have another one which is food because I noticed like a lot of my stuff is food so it's like cakes and you know all that sort of stuff for birthdays so I noticed I needed one for that category like I said I have one for Christmas I have one for florals and background stamps which I don't really have a lot of because they're not really my thing um so yeah i used to have them for my stencils but i found a better way of storing them so you know when i do my room tour eventually i was supposed to do this at the very beginning of the year but again i've got sidetracked so i apologize so as you can see i was trying to do this and i was like you know i'm gonna just move that one down so i don't have to keep trying to force them in because obviously you'll see it is a bit of a struggle to get them in but once you've got them in they're fine um and I tend to pull them out from the back if I want the tallest ones, and then if I want one from the big front, I can just pull them out as normal. But as you can see, also on the second shelf, I actually have two storage containers. So one is just sequins, which are from random companies. Um, like most of them, I think, came from the range or Poundland. So they got put into my containers, and I have like restocks and stuff upon my shelves out of the way because I don't really reach for them. Um, quite frankly, I don't reach for a lot of sequins. It's mostly like pearls and stuff that I go for. So yeah, um, and then I also have the one that I go to the most. So it's my Little Things by Lucy's. So which is embellishments. So it has Little Things by Lucy's and then quite a few from Pretty Pink Posh as well. So I've noticed they're kind of on the same lines and stuff. So like I said, I was supposed to do a room tour um but again i've not got round to doing it yet um 
you don't know what it is. Every time I go to film it, I just don't necessarily like the look of my craft room. And I feel like, you know, it's not necessarily where I'd want it to be as of yet. So I do want to go through it again. So, like I said, we have the people on the top, sentiments, followed by critters. And then these are all my embellishments, as you can see. So I will link the containers down below as well. I then have more food stamps and dies and then the bottom one it is literally just cleaning supplies and miscellaneous things so i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure you like and subscribe to my channel and head over to my instagram follow me over there so until the next video guys stay safe and happy crafting bye guys